Hi everyone, it's Chelsea from the Wild Center and you just got the first ever live glimpse of Norris, our newest animal ambassador. So Norris is a woodchuck or a groundhog. It depends on where you're from. Norris came to us uh, about a month ago now after being orphaned in Michigan. And so he was actually at a nature center there where they realized that he didn't have great vision. So he needed help to get by and wasn't able to be released into the wild. So Norris instead is going to be one of our animal ambassadors. So I don't wanna overload you guys with too much information because I know that you're here to see his cute little face. So I'm gonna turn the camera around again so that you can get a look as Norris explores his enclosure and finds some food. If you have any questions, this is a live stream, so feel free to put them in the comments and I will do my best to keep up live. And if not, then I will answer them a little bit later by typing out the answer. So, get back to the action. Oh, that is a great question, Renee. So Renee and her kids are wondering, where does Norris go to bed? So you guys are only seeing a small portion of Norris's space. So you can see that right now, he actually looks pretty little compared to the space. We are in one of just three big pens that Norris has access to. And I would say his favorite place to sleep is in this next pen. You can see there's that crate with the blankie. Norris loves snuggling up with his blankie. And on cold, rainy days like today in the Adirondacks, I can't blame him. I love snuggling up with my blankies too. And Evan is asking how old Norris is. So Norris was born this spring. So he's actually still immature. He's still a juvenile woodchuck. So he might look a little bit smaller than some woodchucks that you guys have seen. So he is less than a year old, only a few months old. And I see Anita's going to visit us on Wednesday. That's awesome, we're happy to have you. So Norris actually won't be visible to the public for a while yet. So this enclosure space he's in, again, these pens might look a little weird, but anytime we get a new animal here at the Wild Center, we put them in something you guys might be a little bit familiar with, quarantine. And the reason why we do that is to make sure that any new animals that we get in are healthy and that they're free from any diseases or parasites that could potentially infect the rest of our animals. So Norris has our whole quarantine area all to himself. So he has these three big pens. They have two different levels in each pen and each pen is a little bit different. The one that we're in right now is kind of like his play pen. So you can see there is a big black tube nearby I actually put some of Norris's food inside that tube. I'm hoping he'll run through it, which would be adorable. Oh, and there he goes. We'll see if you guys can get a look from the other end. Turn the camera a little bit. Hopefully it'll adjust. You can just see him, the shadow of him. Hopefully as he comes out, you guys will get an adorable view. Yeah, Linda, he is adorable. I really, really have enjoyed working with Norris so far. He's the first groundhog that we've actually had here at the Wild Center and the first one that I've worked with. And I feel like it's a safe assumption to say that he has stolen everybody's hearts. And he is very, very happy here. So because he was so young when he was orphaned, Norris was actually raised by people. And so he's really comfortable around humans. Hi. Oh, you guys got a cute look at that face. He's looking for more food. There's some right there, buddy. Oh, perfect. He's really comfortable around people, and so he's going to make a really, really good ambassador. 
And a lot of people aren't super fond of woodchucks, groundhogs, whatever you call them. So seeing Norris up close will hopefully help people realize that these guys are pretty cool and they're awesome animals to have around in their own right. I hope you guys can hear his chewing noises. He smacks his lips, it's adorable. Excellent question, Renee. So groundhogs like Norris are herbivores, so they're gonna eat mostly plant matter. In nature, that's going to be a lot of greens. So they are going to eat lots and lots of leafy things. They might also get into fruits or veggies if they can find them. Natural ones, of course, but one of the reasons a lot of people don't necessarily like woodchucks is because they think that gardens, human gardens, are an all you can eat buffet. And Norris, naughty boy, just grabbed my phone. He wanted to say hello to you guys, but he does have some big teeth. These guys are a member of the rodent family, so they have those really long, sharp front teeth, just like many other species. So, Norris here is still finding food. I hit a bunch in the leaves, and I think we are just about out of food for Norris. So, I do not want him to think my phone is the next snack on his list. So we'll get you guys one more close-up of his cute face. Oh, there we go. And I am so glad that you guys were able to join us and to meet Norris. Hopefully, if you come visit the Wild Center next spring and summer, you'll get to meet him in person because he is a really cool animal and we're so happy that we were able to give him a good home. All right, guys, I'll see you next time on another Lunchtime Live. Bye.